and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online. My name is Rosemary Orchard, and in today's tip video, I'm going to be giving you an overview of the new shortcuts actions in OmniFocus, as well as Omni Automation. I personally use automation with OmniFocus in many different ways, from simply adding 10 tasks at once when I'm doing a mind dump, to complex project templates. But the new shortcuts actions allow me to get data out of OmniFocus and include it in overviews throughout my day or pull data and include it in an email to somebody. And the Omni automation allows me to do many things from creation to deletion and even manipulation of tasks. What I'm going to do today is just give you a quick overview of some of the ways that I use these new features. OmniFocus is just one of many applications that offer support for task management, but also offer custom shortcut actions. And to look at this, we're going to start by opening the Shortcuts app on iOS. Here in Shortcuts, I have a blank screen, and I'm going to go ahead and just tap on Create Shortcut. Now here, it will take a moment to load suggestions on the left, but if I just hop straight into apps, then I can go down and have a look. And there are lots of different apps here, from Apple apps to third party applications, including OmniFocus. So if I just click on OmniFocus, here we can see a whole host of different actions available to us. To start with, we can go ahead and add an item or a task paper. But the new actions that I want to talk about here today start with the word find. And to start with, I'm going to take a look at the Find Items action. Here, I can go ahead and find remaining items. That's the default search. If I go ahead and tap on the word remaining, you can see I can change the availability. And I could search for, for example, all of my completed tasks. However, I'm going to leave this as remaining and tap on Show More. Here is where we can get really creative with our shortcuts actions and do queries on our OmniFocus database. This allows us to go ahead and search for almost anything. So I could find remaining actions where my project is a specific project, which I can then choose. For example, getting started with OmniFocus. And I could also search for things with specific tags, items that are flagged, and even search for specific search terms. Instead, I'm going to leave this like this, and I'm just going to go ahead and tap the play button here in the bottom right. Now, as you can see, OmniFocus has found no matching items. But if I just tap out of this, we can go ahead and change our flag back to ignored and run it again. Now we can see that I have four tasks which are due today that's indicated by the 1700 below the task name, they're not complete. That's because we filtered for remaining tasks. I'm gonna just tap out of this. Now we can see underneath this action, we have those four tasks. And this allows us to get creative. I could build a custom good morning shortcut. And as well as telling me the weather and perhaps what's on my calendar for today, it could also look for tasks which are due today and tell me about those as well. In order to do this, if I just tap back and back again and then search for repeat with each, I'll just tap to add this action and then add a speak text action. I'll tap to add this too and just move this inside of my repeat with each item then I can go ahead and tap play and Siri will tell me what those four tasks are. I'll leave show when run on find items, my first action enabled. This will pop it up and show me those actions before it continues. I'll tap on play in the bottom left again. And here is the preview of the tasks it's found in OmniFocus. If I tap away from this, then it will start to read them to me. Watch a video introduction to OmniFocus. Read the OmniFocus help. Check out inside OmniFocus. Visit the Omni forums and or join the Slack group. This of course is just one of the many new actions available to us. So if we just pop back into apps and back into OmniFocus, we can take a look at some of the others. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. 
Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS-related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members-only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencast Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a Screencast Online member.